Good morning again. Got this at the gift shop. Got to represent. Got a magnet and a little little uh, dream catcher jar that I can't show you because they wrapped it up carefully, so I can take it on a flight. Yeah, I got something embarrassing to admit. When I bought the shirt the first time, not this shirt, another shirt, it looked really cool, and then uh, put it on. I can't put it on because it was, it was a girl shirt. Yeah, I bought a girl shirt. I didn't know. We are going to Vegas, so. Ah, gotta drive through the burning desert again. Uh, reward of a beautiful buffet at the end. Had to do this. Hey, it's Vegas. It's four o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, and I figured no one will be here because who eats dinner at four o'clock on a Thursday? Well, apparently, a lot of people. Anytime I see the head of an animal, along with its you know meaty body parts, I think that thing just smiled at me. I am so full, and this is really dangerous because now I gotta drive six and a half hours to. Um, Alta Atascadero, California, <laughs> because I want to get out of the heat and I want to be really close to Santa Clara so I can just go home tomorrow. Holy crap, I'll get there at 2 a.m. Huh, this might not have been the smartest thing I've done. Sorry, I didn't update you guys last night. I got in at around 2 30 a.m., sleepwalked in. Oh, that was just such a crazy drive. Drove all the way to, from Vegas. I only got about two to three hours left until I get to my new home in Santa Clara. I'll be checking into a hotel for a few days and then going to Hong Kong and then coming back and that's where I'm gonna officially move in. But today, I finally get to finish all the long distance driving. Final part of my road trip, I'm gonna make it really fun. There's a little highway called Highway 1 um, in California and it takes you through all the coastal towns, including Big Sur, which I've never been to, but I heard about, I've seen the movie with the surfing stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive up along the coast. I think that's gonna be really pretty. And I wanna eat some fresh seafood and enjoy the ocean air. Because literally for the past week, I've been eating barbecue and buffets and just like burgers and all this nasty nonsense been sitting in my stomach. So today I really just wanna eat a nice piece of fish. Like fresh fish, not too much seasoning, just, just a taste of the sea. That's what I want. Over there, I see the coast, and I see the clouds. You see that? That's actually clouds over there. I'm on an elevation about uh, 2,000 feet right now, and holy cow. I mean, you can't really tell in the video, but look at it. That's all clouds, and that's the coast. This is absolutely stunning. This is insane. I just drove up and I found this. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's actually really cold. Look at this. Holy cow. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I'm gonna slap myself. I mean, it's freezing cold. Look. My, my God, look at this. How? The water looks so good. I know it's probably cold as heck, but it looks good.
seals they're just chilling. I think they're chilling. Oh, they're dead. Uh, nah, one of them moved. Yeah, they're just chilling. So these are elephant seals. <laughs> Look how these things are monstrous. Yeah, they're just chilling. Just chilling. And, uh, I mean, what a life, right? Just like lay on the beach all day. And, you know, this is this is this is how you live. And just you know, play with some sand. It's like look at that. Wow. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't want to go like walk over there because I feel like they're gonna like just kill me. But look how big these things are. This drive along Highway One is literally just wrapping around a mountain. And and I mean, if the railings weren't there, well, I don't know how strong the railings are anyway. But if you crash into one of them, it's just you're going down all the way down. And this has literally been one of the most beautiful drives I've ever taken in my life. And you guys who live in California, you might be like, oh yeah, well, it's typical, you know, we see this every day. But I'm from New York, and New York, we don't have anything remotely close to this. In the city, the most scenic drive is probably just the West Side Highway. It's, you know, it's just smog everywhere. The only thing I feel like is missing is that I really wish there'd be some, you know, really awesome fresh seafood restaurants every now and then. So you can stop by, get a you know nice fish or shrimp, crab, whatever. Well, here in New York, you want to go see nature. Like Central Park's the best you can get, and that's like you know a piece of crap. People think like Central Park is awesome. What's so awesome about Central Park is literally a park in a city. It's just bigger. What? Wow. Can't see this in Central Park. Holy cow, this is awesome. Would it be cool to sit on top of that? Just like, uh, I don't know, do some meditation. Eat a picnic lunch. These little squirrels. Here, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. This one has has my has my um, pistachio in his cheek. A little chubby guy. You, see, oh, you greedy little guy. You want more? This is the ultimate greedy little guy. Now they're like, they know I have food. Now they're like, <laughs> they're like climbing up. Fine. Well, here you go. Here you go. Hey, skinny little guy. Skinny little guy. Yo, you are one. This is why this guy's fat. Look at this. Cause he literally just the greediest little guy. Yo, you scrawny ones, you gotta like be more aggressive when people offer you food. Come here. There you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. Oh my god, this thing eats so much. Ugh. Maybe it eats other squirrels, because how how is it that thing is that big and this thing is like so scrawny? I mean it's adorable little chubby squirrel. <laughs> Am I gonna get fined for feeding the squirrels? Also, they kind of feel like some of them tracked poo on my pants.